Hey, Sphere Boosters. How everybody doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. It is I, Janita, with another video. Trying to catch up this quota. I'm hanging in there. Let's see. And I also want to welcome any and all new Spirit Boosters. Thank you very much for joining this channel and this community to share your what's happenings and going zones. <laughs> I'll reverse it. Your going zones and your what's happenings. That's what we about here. Share what's going on in your area. Doing all these supply chain issues. All this that's impacting the price of groceries and supplies and whatever. Gas. Do you want to talk about gas? Before I get into this small husband <laughs> weekly grocery pickup haul. It's the regular routine stuff. A couple of items up here, like the face mask. I got that from um, uh, Sam's Club. Yep, it wasn't that bad of a price either. I got a hundred of those. What was it? Ten dollars, something like that. Anyway, y'all know we wear we. Some of us wear face masks when we go out. But anyway, I was speaking to my, one of my sons today. And he told me, he, well, one of his friends told him in downtown Los Angeles, the gas, they had gas $7. Now, I was like, whoa. But one day I was watching somebody's video in um, downtown Los Angeles. The gas was already $5 and some, And now he's sharing it's up to $7. I don't know how come downtown LA is more expensive than some areas I guess I don't know I'm guessing but maybe it's because it's around Hollywood or whatever I don't know so, um, what's the other area uh, where all the expensive stuff is so the gas is more expensive like everybody over there can afford seven dollar a gallon gas Boy, things are getting out of hand, aren't they? <laughs> getting, they already are out of hands. Let me correct myself. So what you guys got going on and what's happening in your area? Are you having any concerns about all these high-ass prices? What groceries have you noticed in your markets? The price is going up on. I know we all have... Well, I'm not going to say all generalized, but I'm going to say a, a bunch of us have experienced price hikes, especially on the gas and all that old stuff like that. The other day when I was out, I took my camera out too late. It was a gas station by Costco. That sucker had cars lined up, wrapped up around that place. I didn't get to see how much the gas was, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to have been awfully cheap for all those cars to be wrapped up in there like that it was like a holiday like you get ready to leave town and it was just a regular weekday nothing holiday-ish about it <laughs> but that's what's going on people trying to get it where it's cheap but yeah what was I thinking I about to tell you I was checking I had, well, I was watching this video and this lady, she was talking about um, the price of underwear, right? And so I was on, online looking at Target, Target, checking out, you know, what they had in plus size women's stuff. <laughs> anyway, the price of drawers are very expensive. If y'all don't know what drawers are, are, aka panties, but anyway... Let me stick with the word draws. <laughs> I was like, whoa, you ain't lying. Draws are very expensive. The draws so expensive, I was thinking, I said, we're going to have to start quilting them damn thing. And if y'all already crafty with the needle, you know what I'm talking about. You're going to have to get your regular draws <laughs> because everything's so expensive. What happened? You know what, you guys? What happened to your... your generic draws you know 
all everything is like just my size and what is it fruit of the loom and some more other brands that cost a fortune for one one pair of drawers they want twenty dollars so don't even think about it drawers cost and don't don't be all up in the size 12s and up <laughs> boy 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 i'm telling you underwear is very expensive i know some of y'all can relate to what i'm talking about but for real ladies we're gonna have to start quilting our drawers together and you know in order for us <laughs> to have some because they cost too damn much but everything is expensive boy i remember when drawers were like you could get at least 12 pair for what five dollars it used to be so nice to shop especially around school time when you're buying for your kids and stuff all that stuff would go on sale and you get some pretty good deals but not anymore hmm you gotta have some money in your pocket now just like when your kids get ready to go to school you gotta get them twenty dollars to be able to buy snacks and lunch at school these days all this stuff so expensive boy it's just ridiculous that just tickled me to death. I need, they need to put some generic drawers in the store, you know, at a discount price. Walmart, let me see, Kmart, I believe Kmart, I don't know if y'all all know about Kmart. It's like a Walmart, but I believe Walmart outdid them, so Kmart just went down to two. But anyway, Kmart used to have a bunch of generic drawers and great prices. I don't even know if all y'all remember Woolworths or Newberry's those stores i used to well i was much younger when they had the woolsworth and the newberries and all that stuff they had pick and say which now is i think it believe i believe it's big lots now well anyway all i can do is talk about back in the day when the prices were so damn good but yep we're gonna definitely have to start quilting our damn draws and if y'all young folks don't know what quilting is you know them beautiful I would say bed spreads your grandmas and all with and whatever have on their bed. They blocks of different colorful squares and all that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> all your old drawers just start chopping them up in little squares and quilt them, quilt them together and make some patties and shit. Boy, I'm over here dying in my spirit. I'm dying laughing, boy. This is ridiculous. Why they want want so much damn money for some damn underwear? But anyway, I moved on from that, and I was checking out whatever else they had in the store. I want to say um, to one of my spirit boosters, I found I should I should have been at um, but my oh, let me let me slow my ass down. Okay, I was checking out one of my uh, spirit boosters channel. She had a whole bunch of these um, packs of cookies. I found one pack. It was some gingerbread cookies. And I found one pack. Hey, Ross. Her channel is... Damn. It's Ross. Okay, I ain't familiar with everybody. I know y'all name, but sometimes my amnesia kick is so bad, I can't remember nothing. It'll come back, but it'll be too late. <laughs> the video be coming through. Uh, recording. But anyway, sometimes I do put in the... Whatever I forget to uh, mention in that section. But anyway, she had a whole bunch of these gingerbread cookies right from Dollar Tree. They looked at beautiful and so i think i found one at the target so i just got the one because they said they only had one but that's why i was bringing up the draws because i was looking for you know doing a little shopping like that but it didn't happen because i didn't want to shoot i ain't paying all that money like i said i'll be over here quilting i'm already doing looming if y'all know what looming is it's like knitting and crocheting but anyway let me move on <laughs> how y'all doing y'all share get involved participate join in the conversation and let us other spirit boosters know what y'all doing over in y'all area how y'all getting along with all these high ass prices are you stocking up are you taking heed to the warnings and all the new news alarming new news y'all hear me tell about that fertilizer and stuff that stuff is true. Google it. You'll see it's a um, product that has a lot to do with a whole bunch of other products that's going to raise the price of a whole lot of other stuff if it's in short to supply, like a bunch of other stuff. And, they, and what's impacting all of these prices, too, they say is the um, shortage of employees. 
Nobody wants to work because they're getting work overworked or they're not getting enough pay or they got to do certain things to stay at the job. Y'all know what's going on. But anyway, I ain't going to take too much of y'all time, but I need to go on and tell y'all what I got up here. <laughs> okay, I told my husband, I said, husband, go ahead on and get me, get us some bacon. This bar S is uh 470 well it's 479 and it's food for less so he went on and got us three packs of the bar s bacon now bar s like i was telling y'all this bacon you could count like up 14 16 slices <laughs> farmer john they cut they cut it short you ain't getting no 12 pieces of bacon i guess i don't know if the bacon we bought from farmer john was you know uh something that wasn't packaged right but y'all let me know how many pieces of bacon, if you guys have Farmer John, do you have in your Farmer John pack? Because I counted the bacon, it wasn't but eight slices. But this bar S, you get a bunch of slices. They might be thin, but it's good. I love this bacon. I don't cook it hard. I cook it just right. Because you know it finished cooking when you put it out there on your paper towel. It's delicious. <laughs> a lot of people don't eat pork because they say the pig just eat so much nasty stuff. But whatever that shit the pig's eating, excuse me, must... I don't know what it is it, doing something because the pig meat is delicious. Bacon is delicious. Pork, pulled pork, that's good. Roast, pork chops, ribs, all that stuff tastes good. It might not be good on your health because if you eat too much of it, we don't eat this regularly. This is just uh, uh, what you would call it, um, something you reward yourself after you know you haven't been eating something for a while, like on a diet. You might have a piece of cake or something. That's how we do like this bacon and all that kind of stuff like that. But anyway, um, it's like bacon, I guess people will regard it like I got to mind my sweets. So people, a lot of people because of high blood pressure and stuff and weight gain, they got to mind their pork. They can't be handling that pork like that. A lot of people eat some pork and they just get a high blood pressure stroke. So you guys to be careful. If it if you, that's like an allergy to me. If something affects you immediately and devastatingly like that, that that's just a damn allergy right there. You having an allergic reaction? Cause I eat some sweets and I eat too much. I'm having a dang diabetic allergic reaction. So I gotta cut that crap out. Shoot, that shit true. Uh, God designed these bodies wonderfully. You can't you can't keep mistreating your body. Because the way God designed, designed it, you're going to feel the effects. If you keep doing it wrong, it's going to let you know. It's going to wear your ass out. It's going to hurt you. It's going to bring you down. You're going to get sick. You're going to feel the effects. You can't be messing over your body. <laughs> Even though you see how when you get fat, you wouldn't know your body can stretch that much till you get over obese. And you're like, damn, the skin scratch. That's why, I don't know, I'm getting all off track. Did I tell y'all everything I got up here? <laughs> Let me go on and do that so I can get off here. I don't even know how I get it involved in going on. But anyway, I had these smoked turkey necks. $4.90. And I really didn't want smoked turkey necks. I wanted the plain smoke. I wanted plain turkey neck. But we got a meat shortage on fresh turkey necks and turkey tail. Can't find a turkey tail to save my life. That's what's going on in my store. We can't we don't have that kind of meat. We ain't had that meat in a while. So, yes, I'm feeling the effects of supply chain issues, unavailability. The inventory is really short over here, okay? But I got some salad dressing, and I'm going to definitely call Sam's Club because I think they sent me some that's don't got no long date. I got to let them know about that. And I did, I reordered my... Uh, what is it? My bait? What is this thing? My all-in-one detachable sink faucet wrencher. So when I wash my hair, I just, you know, I use my little thing like that. Because I ain't always doing no shower hair washer. I use my little thing like I'm at the uh, salon or something. And my husband, he picked me up four cans of Glory Southern Style Red Beans and Rice. Yes, this little tiny haul is what's happening today besides me sharing all my goings zones and what's happening. And that is what's happening today. And I just want y'all to remember to take heed to all the new news of things, alarming things coming. 
into things that will be continued that's devastating our our um budgets and our families livelihood y'all know what's up that's what's going on take heed to the warning and all the food rationing that they do some stores are still rationing you can't give it one pack of towel or you can't give it one of these but some stores are still you know study getting their supplies I don't know how they doing they need to let other people know what they doing so the other people can do it too but they say it still ain't gonna what ain't gonna matter because the impacts of certain things like the operations the packaging the shortage all the shortage of employees all that kind of stuff is still going to have an impact on our supply chain issues on you know deliveries inventory all that stuff a lot of y'all like i say might have a stock store but the prices gonna murder your pockets in your pocketbooks tip of the day don't get left out and be without get your ass to the store try and get what you need that's you know very necessary before oh they also saying don't be waiting till the last minute don't be waiting on these black friday deals they saying get your shopping listen i'm steady saying the same thing i don't know if anybody taking heat but maybe somebody new might come across this channel and they might be shed in and they don't know so it's always good to just keep on you know announcing what the hell is going on because somebody you know could benefit from this information so yeah and i just forgot what the hell i was saying <laughs> but anyway y'all just take heed be mindful of what's going on in the world the going zones and the what's happening a lot of people will say that's not so that's not happening i don't know what where the store they experience they i wish they knew i wish i could find some fresh turkey necks and some turkey tail because i seen a video today and the guy was making him some fresh stock turkey stock for his dressing and his gravy what i say oh yeah i was trying to tell y'all this is it and i'm gonna finish the um warnings don't alerts warning let me share don't wait till black fridays they saying don't wait till no week before thanksgiving or what you need to be out in the street shopping now getting what the hell you need now because it ain't gonna they ain't gonna have the inventory it ain't gonna have the, what you looking for and if they do have it it gonna be at your affordability <laughs> you gonna be able to afford it some of you will use credit card whatever it's balling out and all that old stuff but that just gonna put you in deeper depth and who wants to be in depth like that you better shop within your means but hell i don't know some people is um well i ain't even gonna mention that but let me let me wrap this up i hope y'all get what y'all need remember to declutter to get more stuff in there <laughs> you can stuff it cram it shove it get it under your bed get it wherever you can fit it before all this madness you know break out and we don't know when it's gonna happen it could happen right this this second prices just go up the stores get word of what's gonna happen and they immediately ra oh i know i'm supposed to be wrapping up but i almost forgot my husband he said i said did you see any more turkeys he said food for less now remember i keep saying food for less and food for less ain't studying us <laughs> they they did get some more kroger turkeys and my husband said them damn things still 35 dollars <laughs> 35 dollars they not taking heed to all these and the other store smart and found final where they got them 99 cents a pound or 69 cents a pound whatever i don't know what's happening at all these why their turkey is so cheap i don't even know if they still have any because y'all ain't mentioning it but anyway i know that food for less they ain't playing with nobody their turkeys are 35 dollars and i don't know if they going on sale but i know one thing food stamp day out here lasts from the first to the tenth they got two more days to get them damn turkey. They not. I don't know why they, food for less don't got them on sale for people that got got a, a budget with stamps. But they did buy all them high ass turkeys. I bet you they're gonna buy them again. And on that note, I'll see. Talk to y'all in another video. Peace out.